What's up guys, it's your boy Noble66 here and today we are playing a game that I really like and have been wanting to show to the channel for a while now. The name of this game is called Totally Accurate T Battle Simulator or Tabs for short. But without further ado, let's get on to the gameplay. So first off we have, uh, looks like a couple of clubbers here and we have the tribal faction unlocked. But only three units unlocked in the tribal faction. So I think we're just gonna put some spirit doors against these dudes. As these dudes don't really look like, you know, they could they could take on our our far range units as their, you know, melee. So see how this goes. Yeah, see there we go. It's like a uh oh. They're missing a lot. Okay. Uh, <laughs> they're just kind of missing. Uh, yeah, like look at that. How are they missing? Okay, this is a problem. Yeah, there's like, uh, okay, let me take control of this. Uh, all right, that did not work at all. So let's. Uh, Let's try moving this dude over here. Maybe that will help. Man, I know you guys probably can't hear, but there's like this car beeping. It's just beeping, like every once in a while, just goes, starts blaring alarms. Speaking of alarms, it's kind of alarming how these guys are missing. Okay, let's let's just let's just restart. Uh, hmm. Maybe we could put some protectors in front of these spirit doors, give them some cover, and put s uh, some clubbers over here to fend off, like, I don't really know what to do, because you expect the spirit doors to just be able to beat the clubbers, but apparently not. If you guys can't tell, this game is really inaccurate. All right, let me take control of one of these dudes, cause yeah, I don't really feel like getting hit by a giant bat again. Oh wow, I just missed. That was embarrassing. Okay, uh, yeah. See, there we go. Got him right in his foot. And just now, we only got this dude left. Man, these guys are fast. And boom, got it. Yeah, right in the hand. Okay, whatever. Huh, that was just the first level. Next up, we have a level called Spears, and for this, we're gonna use some protectors. Show the dudes, they should do pretty good against these spears. Got five on each side, so I think I'm just gonna do what they're doing put five on each side. And because they're not all grouped up, they should go after different groups. Yeah, there we go. Look at them blocking the spears. What happened to this dude? Sure, too small or something? Okay. Eh, doing pretty well here, I would say. Yeah. I think we got this one. Yep. Alright. Next up, we have a level called Sticks and Bones, which... What's up with these dudes over here with the bone helmets on? I'm like, probably why the level's called has bones in the name, but still. Kind of weird. Alright, let's just go with some spear throwers. And... Hmm, yeah, some protectors. Spread them out a little bit so they don't all... Ooh. Yeah, <laughs> spread them out a little bit so then they don't all just cluster together. You know, they're all clustered together. I propose those stoners are gonna throw stones at all of them. So that should be good. I hope. Uh, can't replace anything else. Alright. Yeah, look at that. They took out the bone mages. Awesome, awesome. Alright. Now we just gotta. Make sure that our clubbers and protectors do what they need to do. Uh, 
Come on. Got this. Yeah, our protector is up to you because the archers can't hit anything. Let's go. Alright, we're on to the next level called Army. And to be honest, that is not a formidable looking army. Just saying. Like, they're just kind of lined up like a whole bunch of bowling pins. Speaking of bowling pins, how about we go bowling with some stoners? Yeah. Maybe we could use some stoners to take out the protectors. Once we take out the protectors with the stoners, we could, you know, use some spirit throwers to get the ones still standing, maybe. Put one back. Mm, yeah, let's put another spirit door back here. Alright, this should work. It goes to plan. Oh, wow, I just lagged. Alright. Yeah, that didn't go to plan at all. Okay, uh. Not good. At all. Uh. Okay. <coughs> wow. Man, I lost so badly. I'm over here coughing. Hmm, what happens if we. Put some protectors, maybe? Get a couple of actual melee units to counter their army with our own army. And we still have some stoners in the front just to get a general amount of their army out the way. Have some extra melee units to protect our spirit doors. Yeah, that seems about right. Alright. Ah, okay, that did not go down that way. Yeah, let me take control of this dude and back him up, because they're just all kind of like... Mm. Stunners are really only good for like one big unit. Or multiple units set up in one line, not just when they're all grouped together. Uh, be better if I was going to get some type of phalanx. Either way, I don't think we're going to win this one, especially not if this dude's falling down his own face. Yeah, to be expected. Alright. I think we're just gonna scrap the stoners and put some bone mages. Eh, well, only one bone mage. Uh, delete these two. Yeah, alright, some bone mages. And these guys should do what the stoners couldn't. Yeah, there we go. Still wasn't enough. Oh, he just he just killed himself. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe we need some more bone mages. Maybe. Get rid of these archers. Yeah, and maybe some more protectors. Yeah, build up our army a little bit more. Yeah, okay, this, this, this should definitely work. Yeah, there we go. Now just get in there and rustle him up a little. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's better. Hmm. Ooh, we're at a farm now. Ooh, there's a mammoth and a chieftain. Let's see what the chieftain can do. But it looks like we're going to get some midget men. <laughs> Sorry if that offended anyone. And some farmers with pitchforks. Shouldn't be too hard. I uh, just put down a chieftain and some spirit doors on the side of the river because they should be, you know, hard to get. As, you know, looks like the only way to cross over is this bridge. Get some crubbers. Mm, that's all I can afford. Uh, yeah. Mm. All right, there we go. See how good we do. Take control of this dude right here, so then he doesn't end up falling into the river, and so then he actually shoots. Hey! <laughs> 
not really hitting anyone. Alright. Oh, come on. I, uh, uh, all right. If I can just once again duck and weave, I should be good. Yeah. Oh, there's also a hobbit still alive. Okay, uh not doing so well here. Come on. Don't trip on the bodies. How did I miss? Oh no. Uh, yeah. Right in the leg. Okay. Hmm. What, is, what can we really change? Hmm. Maybe a stoner? Yeah, I put a stoner right there to clear out some of the enemies. Mm. I was really hoping that the stoner was able to take out the hobbits easier, but apparently not. Take control of them before the night just gets absolutely wrecked. Never mind. Yeah. We're definitely not winning that one. Huh. So the little throw that they did. Anyways. Hmm. Maybe we could put some protectors here instead? No, protect themselves against the pitchforks, maybe? No. Yeah, these units are a little bit dumb, not gonna lie. Okay. Oh, he hit my own dude. Yeah, let's back up this time. Mm. Alright, got that one. Alright, only three enemies left. I got this. I got this. If I can just keep my keep my distance, I should be good. I missed badly, but ah, uh, uh, okay, okay, I got this. Oh, I do not got this. He didn't even stab me. Okay. Hmm. Maybe let's put down a bone mage instead. Yeah, two bone mages and we can... Uh, mm, yeah, get some, get some spirit doors. Yeah, see how this does. Hmm. Okay, maybe I need to back them up, because they just kind of walked over there and got, you know, folded. <laughs> Yeah, back this dude up. Don't, don't, don't be like your friend and go up there and get absolutely wrecked. Yeah. Yeah, see, there we go. A little bit of friendly fire, but we still got it. Just back up, give myself some time to recharge. Alright. And yeah! Let's go! Okay. Next up we got hay. With some people in hay with sticks. Okay. And these dudes back here that look like they have potions in their hand. Some green mysterious liquid. Uh, we have enough for the mammoth though, so yeah. Should just be able to trample everyone. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, just, just swish and slash those tusks. Alright, there we go. Next up, we have hay and pitchfork. Kind of odd that those two things would be working together, but, you know, not our concern. Let's, let's go for another mammoth. How, how close can we put this by the line? Looks like that's max. Okay, let's do that. Let's get some... A stoner. Is it two stoners? Mm, no, no. Yeah, let's get... Oh, I deleted the mammoth. Alright. Uh, let's get a stoner. A uh, spirit door and another spirit door. Yeah. Oh, he's trampling his own... Okay, nah, let's spread these dudes out so they don't get trampled. Man, I did not know that would happen. Okay. 
and let's also try to stop deleting the mammoth. All right, let's take control of this dude. See how everything's going. And try to. Oh, I just stabbed the mammoth in his trunk. I think that's what it's called. Yeah. Oh, and a victory. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And we still have all of our soldiers alive. Well, if you can call them soldiers, not really soldiers. Right? We have Hay and Friends. Kind of weird that she only have three friends. And wait, what was that? Oh. So they do have more friends. They're just all hidden in the hay. Okay. Looks like the, uh, the Scythes don't only have three friends. Not exactly, you know, loner loners that like I thought they were. Ugh, can't can't speak. Okay, uh, loners. Okay, ah, uh, never mind. Uh, let's just get a wet man mammoth here. Put him on like a kind of flanking path and have a have a army of sorts over here. Get some protectors, two spirit throwers. And get a stoner right here and some clubbers. Yeah, that should be able to deal with the hobbits pretty good. See how this goes. What's up with the stoner? Over here, diverging on his own little path. Okay. Oh, these guys just got like totally wrecked by the potion throwers. So, I'm like, I guess it's good that I had them down here. So then our mammoth didn't end up taking all the fire. To get, you know, takes from the damage for it. I do its work undistracted. <laughs> and, uh, just kind of trampled it over its own. Its own. Okay, kind of trampled it over its own teammates. The mammoths are a very good unit, but you kind of have to space it out from all your other units so it doesn't just end up team killing all of them. Hmm. Taking a pretty long time. Oh, there we go. Oh, now we're in the medieval era with some squires. Uh, not gonna lie, I'm not too excited to fight these dudes right now. They have all this armor and actual weapons, but I'm like, you know what? I, I think I'm gonna end it here. I'm uh, you know, let me know if you guys want any custom battles in the in the next video as there is a sandbox mode and I'm uh you know alongside custom battles we will also be fighting these squires of honor but until then see you guys next time and um have a noble tastic day hey guys noble here I just like really finished editing this episode but that's beyond the point I'm uh, I don't know why I said episode I'm uh, I'm gonna end up doing a double upload today because I was supposed to upload this video yesterday and then upload something different today. That's what I wanted to tell you guys. Bye, have a great time. Hey guys, Noble dropping in here. I just wanted to let y'all know that I'm going to end up doing a double upload today. So expect some real hard gameplay later on because I was supposed to upload this video yesterday, actually, along with um, uh, the new introduction video to my channel. Yeah, have a great day. Bye.